cake on the mic, cake on the mic, cake on the mic, cake on the mic. People, this the intro. Talk bad about my team, you must be a clown. This is Keek on the mic, so you know you better bear down. Bear down. Hey, what's going on, Bears fans? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Keek on the Mic, the podcast all about the Chicago Bears. Like always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you also follow me on all my social media platforms to stay connected with all Keek on the Mic news. So, Bears fans, we have talked a whole lot about quarterback Justin Fields and how much progress he has already made as a passer from last season. Everything that that we have heard so far I'm out of these early stages of the practice from the Chicago Bears organization is rave, rave reviews about quarterback Justin Fields and that he is doing really well, especially in terms of developing as a passer. But one of the big things I wanted to come on here and discuss with you guys today on the podcast is how Justin Fields improving footwork is setting him up for success as a passer. The Bears coaching staff, and most of you guys already know this, but the Bears coaching staff um, has rebuilt Justin Fields' footwork dating back to last summer. And everyone also knows that Justin Fields' footwork was one of the biggest projects in 2022. And that the Chicago Bears coaching staff altered many things about how he uses his feet in the passing game for the Chicago Bears offense. Justin Fields actually talked about the changes in his footwork in a recent interview and how he feels more comfortable in year two once the Chicago Bears coaching staff has completely altered his footwork. Check this out, Bears fans. Part of you come on your technique, your you know, mechanics, footwork. If you were to flip on the film from your rookie year and compare it to now, do you see dramatic improvement? I mean, yeah, it's different from my rookie year um, because it was a completely different footwork than now. Um, so this footwork that... You know, we have now the first year of me using it was last year. So, I mean, if you yeah, if you're comparing it from now to last year, it's I would say it's a big difference for sure. Last year, of course, was my first year doing it, so I was just trying to get the hang of it, and of course, I you know grow throughout the year. But you know, this year, um, you know, I've I've gotten a lot more comfortable with it, and um, you know, it just times up for the routes better, um, and you know, just just like I've been saying since last year, all uh, whole offenses, you know, using my feet is is tied with our feet, so. Um, you know, just just trying to use that feed as like a clock in our head just to move from, you know, each route in the progression. Very interesting comments from quarterback Justin Fields. He stated that our whole offense is tied with my feet. And I want to break this down to you guys like this. His footwork is used like a clock in his head and helps him move from each route in his progression. So basically in so many words. Justin Fields' footwork means everything in this Luke Getze offense, and we want it to operate the right way. If we want the passing game to take the next step this season, it's all going to be on Justin Fields' footwork um, and his development in his footwork as well. So, Bears fans, once again, this is a very complex offense. It took Justin Fields a while not to only learn the offense and the playbook. It also took him a whole season to basically get his footwork right in terms of how Luke Getze wanted to see it and how this operate offense operates by his footwork so bears fans when you're looking at this offense under offensive coordinator luke getze every little detail matters and i know a lot of you guys may ask why does this matter why does justin fields footwork matter but fields improved footwork and i want you guys to understand this justin fields improved footwork is very monumental when it comes to him making more consistent passes and running the passing offense overall for the chicago bears to break it down even further especially when looking at luke getzi's offense in certain concepts under Luke Getze, Justin Fields should know exactly where his receivers are when his feet hit certain steps in his drop back. I do understand that certain situations when the defense may uh, switch up certain coverages and it may uh, uh, interrupt Justin Fields' timing as a passer. But once again, as long as Justin Fields can trust his feet, um, it will help direct his progressions. So yes, Bears fans, the improvement in his fundamentals is really good news in terms of his development as a passer of course we still need to see this improvement of his fundamentals on the field but the good news about all this is that during the early summer program practices for the Chicago Bears Bears coaches on both offense and defense said that they noticed an uptick in field execution on offense head coach Matt Eberfuss actually had this to say about Justin Fields check this out Bears fans you can see him going through his reads quicker reading the coverages on the snap and processing and where to go with the football 
So overall, Bears fans, Justin Fields' footwork is still a work in progress, and it's one of those things that will always be in a work in progress. Quarterbacks all around the NFL will always be looking to improve their footwork because as long as quarterbacks can trust their feet and trust their judgment to me it's going to make them a better quarterback but his footwork and growing confidence in his footwork uh, has given the Bears offense a better foundation to hopefully take a huge step forward this season so Bears fans as long as he continues um, to stack these practices up when they come back for training camp continue to trust his feet continue to work on the fundamentals the early the little fundamentals every detail matters in this Luke Getty offense, but as long as Justin Fields continues to work hard, especially with his feet and his footwork, I have a very good feeling that this Chicago Bears offense is going to take a huge step forward this season for the Chicago Bears. Before I let you guys go, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms and make sure you share this episode of Kick on the Mic with every single Bears fan that you know. But other than that, back for all new Bears podcasts right here on Kick on the Mic. Thanks, guys, and bear down. You've been listening to Kick on the Mic a podcast all about the Chicago Bears. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Thanks, guys, and Bear Down. Hey.